Hi everybody and thanks for joining me and in this time saver tip we're going to talk about how to track student progress over the course of the year. Now in your classroom you may be tracking things such as reading scores over the weeks of the semester or the year or you might even be doing multiplication facts and how quickly students can finish multiplication facts if they're timed over a certain minute. And in regard to tracking student progress throughout the year and maintaining a log of that information, it's always a good thing to have it readily available to you so that you can see at any given moment throughout the semester whether those students have made drops or gains in their progress. Now what I've done here is I've provided a chart and we've provided some values over nine weeks that we're going to track and see how well the students are doing. And there's a couple of things that we can do here to make looking at this data a little bit easier. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these cells because these are the cells where I'll place my values. And let's say for instance we're looking at values from 0 to 100. Now what I want is I want each of these cells to be color coded across a broad range so that I can see how well the students are doing just quickly by looking at the color. To do that, once you've highlighted your cells, you just go to Format and choose Conditional Formatting. And then here there's an often overlooked rule which is called Color Scale. Now here I can say I want the color scale to be, let's say, red to, let's make it red to green and our minimum value we won't have to set because it's going to be based on the values that are put into the chart over time. So that means that this chart will fluctuate a little bit. The midpoint is set at 50 and then the maximum again we don't have to set that. And of course green is good, red is not so good, we'll click done. So now as a general rule when we type a value in, let's say we put in 25 for this, then it'll be marked as red based on the other values in that range. The other thing that we can do is out at the far right we want to be able to see if the student is making progress over time. Now you can look at these shades here and you can tell we started out pretty bad for Bruce but he got better then he dipped a little bit then he went back up and he's at the 40 range right now. To make that data look a little bit more appealing we're going to add a sparkline chart at the end of this. Now you can always go to insert and chart and you can add a chart into your graph but one of the things that a lot of people don't know that you can do is you can actually type in a function to add a sparkline and I'm going to tell it to put a sparkline based on the data from cell B2 to J2. Close the parentheses and hit enter and there we have a sparkline. Now if I want to apply this same function to all these other cells down the rest of the chart, all I have to do is highlight that cell, click, hold, and drag this handle down to the bottom and let go. And now we'll have a spark line for all of these. And of course as we fill in this chart, then I can start to add values over time. And you can see as I add, not only is the color being changed with each cell, but we also have a spark line that's generating on the right. So that's a quick way that you can set up a chart to track student progress. It's very simple to do using conditional formatting and spark lines. Hopefully this is something that's helpful to you and good luck in the new school year. Thanks for joining me.